Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. We're going to talk about the absolute must-haves today. You can build your side around these guys. Don't muck around. Get them into your team. I've got, what have I got? I've probably got about six or seven names. Maybe a couple more, depending on your interpretation. But there are definitely some must-have blokes this year, as there always is. And uh, we'll get into those in a moment. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to. Thanks again for another um, live session, which was a great success the other day. I'm really loving doing those, actually. It's good fun. Um, so, got to check my roster. Pretty busy with evening shifts, but I do plan on going live at some stage again before the opening bounce. So, yeah, lots of questions. So, sorry if I didn't get to you, but um, try and fire off a question as early as you can. And, you know, I'll do my best to get to them all. But um, <clears throat> let's get into the must-haves for this year. And, and let's start with the ruck. And I think a lot of people will argue the point on this one. And maybe I'm taking a bit of a soft approach here. But I've got must-haves Grundy or Gorn. A lot of people will probably argue you've got to have both. I don't think I get the point of the set and forget with both of them. But I honestly don't think it's an out-and-out must-have. But you clearly got to have one of them. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious that. A lot of people are set and forget. And I understand that. But... You know, there are some other good options at a mid-price level. And, you know, it's, it's not so much about not going with both of them, but how you can spend that coin elsewhere, which maybe gives you a benefit in other areas. But um, you got to have one of them. So second up, I've got Paddy Dangerfield. Now, it is bugger all up in the forward line in terms of premiums. And the fact that he's now fit, that was about the only question mark I had through the preseason. He looks great. He's going to play pure midfield. No stuffing around with him up forward. You've just got to have him. You know, we've seen side bottom go down. We've seen Marshall go down. You know, Dunkley was impressive, but I still have my worries. Um, so you just got to have danger, I think. Just pay the big coin. He's clearly the best premium in the forward line at the moment that we can select. So don't muck around. Get him in. Move over to the midfield. Paddy Cripps. Now, some people will have cooled on him off the Pracky game, but don't sweat it. It's just a practice game. Paddy Cripps couldn't care less about those. It's just for a guy like him, just get a bit of touch and feel, get the legs ticking over, come the season proper, he'll be dominating. I think he'll average at least 110, and at that discounted price, given he did have a few niggles last year, shouldered a lot of the workload. Some people might argue that Carlton midfield bats a bit deeper now, but he's still the number one midfielder, you know, and any talk that he's going to sort of play a bit more forward, I just don't really buy, you know, in the Pracky game. Mackay went down. They had a few structural things going on. So when the chips are down, Cripps is in the middle. So I'm picking him with a hell of a lot of confidence. And now if we just venture down back, and a bit like I said with the Ruck, I think you've got to have one of Jordan Clark or Hayden Young. And if I'm really being serious, I think you've got to have both. But I understand that some people don't like those mid-price types. But look, you could have Young down back. You'd have Clark in the middle. I really think... They are two of the absolute genuine mid-price options that we've got to deal with. Um, and if I was slightly preferencing one, I'll, I know I've raved on about Jordan Clark all pre-season, but I would probably just have Hayden Young ever so slightly in front of him just because I think, you know, security in his position as a halfback flanker distributor, he's very secure where Jordan Clark, you know, could be halfback, could be wing, a bit more competition for those dynamic spots at the Cats. Um, so sorry to sit on the fence there a little bit, but I think you've got to consider them both very, very strongly. And just finally, Jack Zeebel. I think with the absolute dire position we are in in the forward line, you've got to look at some of these mid-prices. Um, I'm rocking with Coldwell. I'm rocking with Dow. You know, Impey's popular. Danaher's popular. But the one that you just got to have is Zeebel. I know he's had a few body issues, and you know, but the fact is he's gone down back. He looked super reliable in the practice game and it's just an easy super coach position really so at that price it's just going to be a dream and we need that sort of coverage in the forward line this year so he's a must have so just to sort of recap you got to have one of Gorn or Grundy my big individual ones are Dangerfield, Cripps and Zeeble and for sure a mid price sort of option Clark or Young a couple of you know absolute stars on the rise preferably both they're both in my team and if you're just looking for some rookies, you're thinking, Jesus, which ones are we absolutely going with? Well, I've got Braden Campbell, must-have. Tom Powell, must-have. Miles Bergman, must-have. So 
you can mount cases for a few others i'm sure but they're just a few guys that certainly stand out for me so they're the must-haves for this year in my opinion you can mount some strong cases for some other guys and there's stacks of guys that are awesome selections you know the likes of laird dustin martin Lockie neil you know the list sort of goes on but they were the guys that i just thought you have to have so i'll be back with some more content and we'll have the super coach traps as well i always do the must-haves and the traps so i'll get working on that and uh yeah we'll have that one across to you pretty soon cheers